mind the morning and it is Thursday vibes and we're all about that here in studio. So now for Sport on Tech, we'll be talking about youth initiated innovations and this is by Halt Prize. Halt Prize uh, is the competition and Halt Prize Foundation is the foundation. And we are joined by Cliff, uh, Cliff Nyakundi who is the African Regional Manager Halt Prize Foundation. Right. Cliff, Karibu. Thank you so much. It's an honor to be here. Why to put for? Glad to have you with us. You. Yeah, so, you know, you can introduce yourself, who you are. Uh, no, I've mentioned your title, so what do you do exactly? Uh, I mean, you, you said it perfectly. My name is Cliff Nyakundi. I'm mm -hmm. the regional manager for Africa, the Halt Prize Foundation. Mm -hmm. And my job really is to ensure that we're able to spread impact across all the 55 countries in this continent. Mm -hmm. And also to ensure that we're able to engage as many youth as possible give them a platform mm. to launch for good and for profit social enterprises for a million US dollars. All right. So now uh, the health prize. Yes. So talk about the health prize. You know. Well, people the, the, what the HALT Prize does, um, many people have called it the Nobel Peace Prize of young people. That's Bill Clinton's quote. Basically, we give young people an opportunity to look at the world's most pressing social needs and mm. coming up with solutions to those problems. Every year we look at what is the contemporary issue for this year, mm -hmm. and then we come up with a theme. For example, this year's theme has been on getting the world back to work. Last year was food for good. Mm -hmm. So we organize competitions uh, through campus directors in every university, college, and institution, any institution of higher learning. Mm -hmm. And then after that, they proceed Mm -hmm. After that, they proceed um, to the regional level where they compete with other entrepreneurs from other countries. Mm -hmm. And then the winners of the regionals proceed to the accelerator in Boston, in US, uh, okay. for six weeks. And then after that, we award a million US dollars to the winner of the UN finals. Okay, that's good money. That's a hundred uh, million, million Kenyan, Kenyan shillings. shillings. Yeah. That's good. Mm -hmm. uh, has, so far, has any Kenyan you know, won the prize? Of course. Of course, 2015 winners were called Magic Pass. Right now, they're called uh, mm -hmm. Bo Pass. Basically, if you ever used, uh, if you ever booked an SGR ticket mm -hmm. online or it booked any uh, plane ticket from Wilson Airport, you mm -hmm. used the Bo Pass technology. Uh -huh. And right now, they expanded to Tanzania, um, mm -hmm. Uganda, and then, and just last year, Cameroon. Mm -hmm. So amazing! So we have won. Back home. We yeah. have we have won it. We have taken the trophy, you know, home. I know. Yeah. Where were you in 2015? <laughs> Where was we had I? A, was we had I winners. <laughs> <laughs> I should have known it, you know, back in the day. We can't but blame you. Yeah. Now, now I do, and I'm not in campus, sadly. <laughs> it's yeah. Fine. So is it only limited to campus students? Um, if you're in a college, mm -hmm. if you're in a polytechnic, if you're in a university studying undergraduate diploma, master's or PhD, mm -hmm. you qualify. So, okay. So as long as you're in the tertiary institutions. Yes. So wh wh what is the reason behind that? Uh, this is because these are already young people who are engaged in something. When you want uh, to grow an organization globally, mm -hmm. you have to do it through established systems and mainly educational systems. Mm -hmm. um, but it's in our mind. Uh, it's something we're looking into to engage the larger population. But mm -hmm. we need a system that will work. Uh, currently, I have a team of 30 staff within Africa. But for us to uh, get a system that will work in every country to engage people, even mm -hmm. outside the institutions, mm -hmm. we need time. We need the resources. So we're slowly getting there. Yeah, because I was about to ask, you know, you, you've said young people, but young people are also outside the university. I you know, know. Maybe outside know. the institutions. Baby steps. Yeah, but you're doing good. <laughs> uh, and so now, why, why is it... Uh, uh, you know, for social impact, why, why, why do you see the need for that? Uh, this is because we reason like this: for the world to move forward, mm -hmm. the future of business is making money while impacting your society. If you're making money and no one is feeling the impact that you're doing, then you're doing zero work. We want every young person to think impact, to think uh, market-driven, mm -hmm. to also think profit-minded. 
those are our three pillars. Okay, so not not just any business. Not just so how business. how would one differentiate it? Uh, you know, someone's an entrepreneur, but mm -hmm. how 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 would they say that their business is not you know impacting the society? They just have you know their own business there and they've employed people. Is that not enough? You're creating employment. Well, you need to look at um, <clears throat> social impact. Is there anything that you're directly addressing mm -hmm. that will impact the community where your business operates? Mm -hmm. For example, um, let's say food for good. Yeah. Um, any initiative that comes out of that topic is likely to impact the people where that business is operating from. Mm -hmm. So just from our theme, we are able to drive initiatives that will first impact the society and also make profits. Okay. So now the themes. Uh, how do you come up with the themes? Who comes up with the themes? And mm -hmm. are they, uh, you know, directly... Uh, you know, come from the SDGs? Yes, we involve the UN SDGs a lot. By the way, United mm -hmm. Nations is one of our partners, uh, the uh, youth office, mm -hmm. the global youth office for United Nations. And one of the things we do, we have a team of, a pool of experts from within and also from outside. Mm -hmm. So what they do, they sit down and look at what is the most contemporary issue of that year mm -hmm. and where is the w world moving into? So like, for example, right now we did getting the world back to work because we're coming out of COVID. Yeah. We need to think business. Employment may not be sustainable. How can we come up with initiatives that will impact the world but also create 10,000 jobs within the next two years? Mm -hmm. Food for good last year, there was a food crisis. Everyone was at home. People are not farming and everything. How can we come up with creative ways of doing, for example, farming while mm -hmm. you're at your home, while you're at your apartment? You don't necessarily need... Mm -hmm. uh, five acres of land. Yeah. How can we creatively come up with solutions to the world's most pressing needs? Mm -hmm. All right. And now, you know, from the innovations, are they just, you know, f with students from a particular field? Because, you know, we speak innovation, people, you know, already have the idea that it's only the engineering students mm -hmm. or the mm -hmm. IT students. So mm -hmm. how do you open up to other students? In the You'll field? be surprised. Every, as so long as you're a student, you can participate. Um, I'll give you an example. Last year, I attended the, um, the University of Nairobi uh, on campus event final. Mm -hmm. uh, the theme was on food for good. Mm -hmm. um, civil engineer students are the ones who won. Not even School of Sciences or Agriculture uh, yeah, students. Yeah, you would think the agriculture students would exactly. have it. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, we once had um, uh, maximizing on the power of energy theme a couple of years ago. Mm. Our global winners were business students mm -hmm. and with no experience in the energy, mining, and petroleum sector. Mm -hmm. They just thought, hey, this is what I experience, so I feel every day. And then they started, you know, sh uh, sharing the ideas with everyone, doing their research, mm -hmm. and they won. A million US dollars. Okay, so that yeah. takes a lot. So how is the structure? Because I'm imagining the leadership really matters mm -hmm. for, you know, the students in the university doing these things, especially mm -hmm. for someone who doesn't have knowledge, you know, as mm -hmm. you've said, someone mm -hmm. from, uh, um, what's the faculty again? Uh, the one energy. From energy, you mm -hmm. know, winning something on agriculture, mm -hmm. you know. So how, how is the structure like? How's the leadership like? Okay, so every year we hire campus directors from every institution. Mm -hmm. Campus directors are basically club chairpersons or student ambassadors who help uh, organize the main function within the school. So the campus directors look for mentors, coaches, and we provide them with the resources to ensure that their work is successful. I'm a former campus director myself. Yeah. Uh, my colleague John here is, was also a former campus director for the UN, for example. Mm -hmm. So the campus director organizes the um, competitions, they organize pitch competitions, information sessions, training sessions, and then they do an on-campus finale, mm -hmm. where the best team now proceeds to the regionals. Okay. So every university will have a team proceeding to a regional of their choice. Mm -hmm. You don't really have to go to an Africa regional, you can go, to oh, you can you can go anywhere. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. So you have that, that choice. Yes, yes, yes. Actually, last year, mm -hmm. MMU students uh, won the Dubai Impact, uh, Regional Summit, for example. Amazing, MMU. <laughs> I'm an alumni of MMU. We I have got to you stop there. For a while <laughs> and recognize that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. That's amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then after that, they proceeded to our accelerator. Though last year we had to do it digitally, the whole of it, mm -hmm. because 
of COVID. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, and then after the accelerator, they now move into finals mm -hmm. to win. So that's basically the whole structure. Mm -hmm. It takes about um, nine months. About nine months to for the whole competition yes. to work out. And now, you know, still on the campus director, do they do it on their own or do they have a team behind them? Mm -hmm. And, you know, how do they uh, get the mentors? Do you mm -hmm. uh, sponsor them? Where do they get the funding? Because mm -hmm. it all takes funds to mm -hmm. bring this together. And are there mm -hmm. awards mm -hmm. at the university level be before coming to, you know, the mm -hmm. next level, the regional mm -hmm. level and everything? Mm -hmm. Our Health Prize mantra is the team makes the dream work. Mm -hmm. We encourage campus directors to recruit um, organizing committees. So th the first thing we do, we recruit campus directors and then we train them how to spot gifted students, how to mm -hmm. run an on-campus program. We give them the resources, digital resources, uh, and then we do information sessions with them. And then we now track, hey, now you've, I've now recruited my organizing committee. These are the roles. Mm -hmm. I'm now reaching out to... Uh, experts and coaches. We even give them email templates mm -hmm. how to of what to say or how to we even take them through a crash course if you've met with a CEO for example, what to say, mm -hmm. what not to say for example. Um, so we, we build leaders through that program mm -hmm. and then um, we also believe that we build entrepreneurs so it's up to them how they want the event to look like. Oh, so. so that's where we now bring in the awards. Mm -hmm. um, how unique you make your event to be, how outstanding in a, it's now up to you. We give you all the marketing materials digitally, everything. So campus directors, most of the time, from what we have seen, mm -hmm. they engage stakeholders, um, like partners, for example, from different organizations. Uh, they ask them to come as mentors and also partners to sponsor maybe awards for the winning team. So not all universities have awards for the winning team. Mm -hmm. uh, some universities, the winning team receives tickets to go to the regionals. Right. Some universities, just the certificate. So it, it depends. It depends. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And how, how is it now that, you know, a university like maybe the University of Nairobi has, has different campuses. Mm -hmm. So how do they bring the, all that together and as a team, you know, taking them to the regional representing Nairobi mm -hmm. University? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that, uh, number one, there are two ways of doing that. Just have one campus director mm -hmm. who will have organizing committees from all satellite campuses. Okay. Or recruit campus directors from all satellite committees. So once we recruit the campus director from the main campus, mm -hmm. we ask them, hey, what do you think will work for you? What will make your work easier? Do you have the capacity, for example, to have organizing committees from all these campuses? Mm -hmm. uh, John here was able to do it uh, together with a team. He got a very big, strong team to run all satellite campuses. And um, during his time, he had 500 startups registered for his own campus program. Mm -hmm. So, you see, it's still worth that. Okay, you have introduced John to the, you know, you have not, you, you didn't say who John is. Uh, John is, you know, behind the scenes yes. and uh, he has accompanied uh, Cliff. So who's John in the, in the team now? John is our business development associate. Mm -hmm. um, one of the incentives of uh, outstanding campus director, he was a former campus director of the UN uh -huh. uh, and he was a former top 20 global campus director. So one of the in, uh, incentives is we give, we provide you internships, uh, we give you a job. For example, now John has a job with us mm -hmm. and um, pay your flight tickets to Accelerator, mm -hmm. um, VIP access to the UN during global finals. So these are just some of the incentives that we have for our mm -hmm. campus directors. Okay, it's good to be a campus director. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so now uh, still on the on campus, you know, edition. Um, uh, the student, you know, because many uh, students participate uh, mm -hmm. in this. Mm -hmm. So, what happens to those that don't qualify to go to the next level? Are they still mentored, or does their dream just, you know, end Th there? Thank you for raising that question. Mm -hmm. Basically, what we do at every level of the competition, mm -hmm. we have a pool of experts and coaches to engage with all the startups. As helpers, we can only do one thing: provide you with a platform. What you do with the platform is up to you. Mm -hmm. We train you, we impact you with the skills that we think are necessary for your growth as an organization and as a company. Now, what you do with that knowledge is now it's up, up to, to you. you. 
Okay, so now tell us about this uh, oncoming event that, that is there to award the campus directors. For mm -hmm. So we have, uh, every year we have a global on-campus awards festival. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, it's an initiative by the Health Prize to celebrate the most outstanding uh, universities uh, in our program. Some of the things we do is award um, initiative of the year, uh, brand excellence, youth empowerment, community engagement. So these are categories of awards. Mm -hmm. And then we have the best program in every region, for example, Africa, Asia. Mm -hmm. And then we also have the best global on-campus program. Uh, the event will be from the 1st to the 3rd of July this year. Mm -hmm. um, we'll have it at Strathmore. KCB Leadership Center and Demara Ole Sereni. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have three venues for the event. And what we want to ensure uh, and make sure is to have our global audience who will be participating in person to have a feel of Nairobi, mm -hmm. have fun because we'll also be doing safari and also finish with the awards festival themselves, recognizing the leaders mm -hmm. um, and the institutions which did a great job. Ah, okay, amazing, amazing. So now um, still on the, uh, the different categories, mm -hmm. how did you specifically come up with the categories that are there? What, what is the reason behind them? So uh, when we recruit campus directors, uh, mm -hmm. we do trainings for them on how to be brand aligned with our brand. We give them marketing materials, for example. Mm -hmm. We encourage them also as well to do uh, initiatives, community initiatives, because we are a social enterprise mm -hmm. company. So we want to lead by example yeah. And then we want them to take up the mantle, for example. Mm -hmm. So that's why we create that award, for example. Um, like one university in, in, in Nigeria, an accident happened close to the university. The organizing committee decided to do a blood donation drive. That's a uh -huh. nice initiative, you mm -hmm. see. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we also have community engagement. We want to see how many startups are you able to recruit? Um, how, what kind of an audience are you able to attract? And everything you attach and evidence. We we give all of them uh, websites. For example, mm -hmm. we also see the number of clicks that um, uh, were attached to their website. So every campus director is given a website to put their photos, their partners, and everything. Mm -hmm. So we look at every small thing, and then we also have something called the X factor. Mm -hmm. What did you do that's very outstanding that no one else did? Amazing. Sounds very interesting. Mm -hmm. So is it for all campus, you know, for all the campus directors in all registered campuses in Kenya, for example? Yeah. Well, actually, mm -hmm. what we do is we go one by one uh, awarding, giving points to every institution, the 2,000 institutions globally. Oh, globally. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then we do deliberations. Uh, which are the most outstanding programs. Mm -hmm. At some point, we even invite the campus directors for an interview, ah, mm -hmm. you know, um, because we want to get the best. Okay. So we, we look at all sides of the angle mm -hmm. to ensure that we have the right people who can benefit from these incentives. Mm -hmm. And why, wh why, do you th um, why is this festival important to, you know, recognize that they're like, why, why are this a crucial part in uh, Halt Prize competition? We do realize that we deal with young people. Young people sometimes could be impatient, mm -hmm. but this is just like a tap on the back, like, hey, you're doing great, mm -hmm. but you can do better. Keep going. This is not the end. You, you're already doing amazing but now there's another step. There's, there's something that you can still do more. You have so many years ahead of you. So mm -hmm. this is just a tap on the back to give them the extra oomph and push to proceed pursuing and doing the great things they're already doing for their communities. Mm -hmm. Speaking of progress now, uh, back to you and how you started as a <laughs> campus director. So how was the journey to where you are now as the Africa, Africa's uh, regional manager? Um, so I actually was first a participant in my university, Africa uh -huh. Nazarene University. At that time, um, it was the first time Health Prize actually was in Kenya. It was in Nazarene and Kabarak University. Mm -hmm. So I participated. Um, my team was first runners up. At that time, the first and second team were allowed to participate in regional competitions. Mm -hmm. So my team was invited to the Cairo regionals. And mm -hmm. then the following year, I applied to be a campus director. Um, I was able to run the program within the institution. I was able to attract some funding, for example. Uh, one of two of my judges actually sponsored their flights from the US to come and look at the 
you know, and award the startups that were pitching from my university at that time. Mm -hmm. I had about 80 startups pitching. And um, because I also had a great team of organizing committee, our program was recognized as among the top 20 globally that mm -hmm. year. Mm -hmm. So one of the incentives was internship. So I attended the accelerator in, at the Ashridge Castle that year. Mm -hmm. uh, flight fully paid for everything. Mm -hmm. I went and interned, came back, um, was a volunteer as a community builder, mm -hmm. and then um, a regional analyst. Now I was hired as a regional analyst, then director for East Africa, and now regional manager. Wow. It must feel nice you know, to see the growth well, and the steps. and take time uh -huh. and working smart and mm -hmm. having an amazing team. Okay, so what would you say to, to, you know, that campus director who's looking up to you and, you know, wants to get where you are or maybe past where you are? Um, focus on the goal. Mm -hmm. um, don't look at anything that might deter you. Mm -hmm. Anything that might deter you or that might be a challenge is going to make you stronger and better for the next level. Mm -hmm. In fact, be excited when challenges come upon you because they... F they they fashion you to become a better leader. They fashion you to be able to solve more challenges mm -hmm. than someone who just had a smooth ride up. Mm -hmm. yeah. And what vision do you have as the regional manager for Health Rise? Yeah, so for Africa, I want to engage together with my team, the African Union mm -hmm. and the Africa Development Bank to award over a million US dollars to African startups. And this is why, because I have noticed, especially once we get to the accelerator level of our competitions, startups from African universities usually get to that stage while their um, business ideas are still at the idea stage. Mm -hmm. But when you look at startups from Asia, Middle East, the Americas, yeah. they already got funding. So by the time they're getting to the accelerator, it's a real business. Uh -huh. It's working. They're talking about traction. I have my first 20 customers. I have my first 50 customers. But Africa has a big problem with financing startups mm -hmm. and giving capital to startups or loans to startups. And this is because um, it's a high risk. Uh, they do not have assets and all that. Um, but I think we need to change the culture mm -hmm. from some of our big companies to believe. You know, first you have to believe, mentor, engage, and then watch uh, these businesses grow. Mm -hmm. um, the United Nations was built on, um, on social enterprises and businesses. Innovation built some of the most outstanding countries that we have right now. Mm -hmm. It is something that we can do as Africa. Yeah. Uh, our team, moving forward, um, with time, will be able to work on an initiative mm -hmm. to engage the big boys, in quotes, yeah. <laughs> in Africa, who can bring impact. Like, for example, if the African Union endorses your program yeah. and endorses it to and asks presidents within the other countries to align in a certain way, we'll be able to have achieved a bigger impact. Mm -hmm. So this, this is the kind of angle that we are looking at in approaching that issue. Amazing. And we hope uh, you know, that comes to be. And, uh, and in entirely, entirety, how do you see uh, your health prize changing our system in Kenya, Africa you know, and the world? So I'll just begin by giving you some raw numbers. Mm -hmm. um, every year we have about 69 um, campus directors just from Kenya alone. Mm -hmm. And in Africa, about 800. And every year we have about 10,000 uh, young people in Kenya alone mm -hmm. engaging, pitching. Uh, so we are kind of like crowdsourcing ideas to solve one single problem. Mm -hmm. So. If we continue and keep up with this culture, because health price in Africa is now six years old, if we continue, if we continue mm -hmm. um, engaging young people, I think we'll be gained by a shift of mindset and changing our culture that, hey, I do not have to finish campus and wait for employment. Mm -hmm. I can be in campus and come up with an initiative that supports and impacts the community, yeah. where, whereas creating job opportunities for other people mm -hmm. and making money as well. Okay, amazing. So now as we come to a close, uh, tell us about the event again, 
take mm -hmm. us through the mental you know journey because we can't uh, yeah. see it thank yeah. you so much so the event is called the globe on campus awards uh, which begins from the 1st of july to the 3rd of july mm -hmm. on the 1st of july is just the launch everyone will be receiving an amazing red carpet everyone dressed up looking nice yeah. um we have about uh, we have participation from over 50 countries over 150 guests confirmed including campus directors mm -hmm. and we'll have we have over 800 participants online for that day two very early in the morning we do safari we take everyone to the nairobi national park mm -hmm. to experience kenya to nairobi is the only the city we, in the yeah. world with a national park Aha, amazing. You know, so mm -hmm. we, want, we want to leverage on that as well. And then on, on the evening of the 2nd of July, we'll do something called the Global Village. Mm -hmm. Each of these 50 cultures will be doing a presentation and showcasing their culture through cloth, fashion, uh, you know, cuisines and all that. Mm -hmm. So we are also looking forward to see what the participants have in store for us. Mm -hmm. And then day three, now that's the awards festival day. This is when we get to now give the awards to the nominees. Oh, amazing. Yeah. Thank you very much for coming on board, Leaf. It's uh, been a pleasure. Yeah. If someone wants to get you, where can they reach out? Um, you can write to me on email, mm -hmm. clifton.nyakundi at haltprize.org. Mm -hmm. I'm also on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter as Clifton Nyakundi. Thank you once again. Uh, that has been Clifton Nyakundi, yes, who's the Africa Regional Manager, Health Prize Foundation, talking about Health Prize, which is a youth initiated, you know, youth initiated innovations for social entrepreneurship. So, yeah, I hope you've taken something from that. You've been inspired by it. And if you're in campus, maybe you should apply for the next one. Before that, when is the next uh, competition? When can people register? Um, for? Right now, we in the process of recruiting the next batch of campus directors mm -hmm. it began on the first of june so if you want to apply to be a campus director to bring health prize into your college or university mm -hmm. um, head up to our web website at healthprize.org and sign up okay so you have had it from cliff if you are interested then sign up at health prize uh, website and you'll get all the details for it for now let's take a short break we'll be back with valentine for music and lifestyle the hashtag to use is 30